from the Computer History Museum in the heart of Silicon Valley. It's the Cube, covering food IT, fork to farm. Brought to you by Western Digital. Hey, welcome back everybody. Jeff Frick here with theCUBE. We're at the Food IT Show at the Computer History Museum. Decided to leave the set, take a walk over to the small kind of expo hall, look at some of the crazy innovations that they're showing here. And we're really excited to have Deepak Sikar. He's the founder and CEO of Chowbotics. Welcome. Thank you. So, but you've got uh, kind of an interesting thing here. We have Sally, the automated salad robot. So first off, tell us a little bit about Sally. Uh, Sally is our first product. We build uh, robots for food service. With Sally, uh, you can walk up to Sally's touch screen and you can customize your salad the way you want. You've got more than 1,000 options for uh, building your salad and Sally automatically makes the salads for you and uh, she puts everything into a bowl and she uses robotics technology for doing that so that you get precise weights, weight of each ingredient in the salad. Okay, so it's basically like a carousel with a bunch of ingredients, you work the, uh, the front keypad and it assembles the salad for you. Right, that's the simplified version of it. Okay, yeah. great, so what's the main benefits to the, I mean, first off, who's the target market? Is this for me at home? Probably not, it's awfully big for my counter, but is it for commercial applications, restaurant applications? What are some of the applications? Uh, we, there's actually a lot of markets this can address with restaurants, uh, we are working with some fast food restaurant makers right now, uh, restaurant chains right now, and they like it because today in their chains, they've got four types of salads, each having 500 calories or more, and they're not able to attract a lot of demographics like women and families because these people don't always like to eat 1,000 calorie burgers. Uh, and with Sally, they can actually put 1,000 salads on their restaurant's menu. You know the exact calories of your salad. You can customize things the way you want. Uh, and the labor cost goes down as well. You know the exact weight of each ingredient. So you're seeing interest from the restaurant space for that. You're also seeing interest in cafeterias, in offices and universities. The value there is you get uh, food 24 seven and many uh, engineers who work late at night like I do, we like to get food to munch uh, at 11, 11 p.m. or midnight. Uh, and Sally's, Sally doesn't need to sleep. She's available 24 uh, seven. And not just that, not many offices can afford to have a cafeteria. So a cafeteria makes sense today, only if you've got more than 500 employees. Uh, and a lot of offices out there don't have 500 employees. Uh, so with something like Sally, they can put it even into these small offices. And Sally is a cafeteria, which offers uh, fresh food. And so we're seeing a lot of interest in that market as well. You're seeing interest in convenience stores, uh, because a lot of them are losing tobacco revenue right now. And uh, if they put a Sally there, people can get fresh, healthy food 24-7 uh, 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 over a period of a day or two, and that's valuable as well. Okay, so, so you just do the machine though. We talked earlier, you don't, prov you don't have a service to uh, you know, reload the lettuce and those types of things. So how do people kind of manage that part of the process? With restaurants, they can go and refill Sally uh, by themselves. With other uh, applications, like office cafeterias and all, uh, if there's a cafeteria, they can refill the machine. If there's no cafeteria, we actually partner with uh, companies. Uh, 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 we partner with companies like uh, Compass Group, which actually go and refill vending machines. And now they're getting into fresh food as well. And those people would uh, take the fresh food from their commissary and they would go and refill it. Uh, and so, yeah, we. That we work with our partners to service uh, a lot of these applications. Okay, so I have to say it reminds me of that Coke machine that, that you see popping up all over because it's got, you said 20 bins uh, that can be wet or dry, but you've got prefabricated combinations of salads as well as you can make your own. And you always have the little calorie counter that tells you whatever you're making, that's what it says. So it's really a lot of variety with really not that many inputs. Uh, yeah, the variety is what is pretty interesting because there are lots of surveys which show millennials love customizable food and this provides mass customization. In fact, I had a guy from Coca-Cola come this morning uh, at the show and he called uh, this the freestyle for salads. <laughs> uh, so uh, yeah. The and, then, and then obviously the data component, the cloud component, how does that map in? Because clearly that's a big piece of the puzzle. Yeah, uh, we actually collect data on what type of salads are sold uh, uh, and we provide that to our customers as well. Uh, so if there's a small isolated restaurant somewhere in San Jose and they want to know what salads uh, are popular, 
uh, the, if they use one of our Sally machines, we tell them, hey, uh, this is what happened all across the Bay Area. These are the kinds of salads which customers like. Uh, and they can use that intelligence to uh, craft better, higher selling salads in their own restaurant. Okay, great. Well, if you're not really a salad aficionado like me, you've got the choice to have the chef's uh, established salad. So, Deepak, I'm going to kick you out and we're going to invite Kelly Olazar up. She's the chef. Kelly, come on up. So this is Kelly Olazar. She, you work for uh, Chowbotics and you're the one that designs the fancy salad. I am. I enjoy coming up with all these fun, nutritious recipes that keep employees energized and uh, ready to keep going. Now what's nice is that you can establish a recipe and this will give the exact proportions, the exact mixes uh, of the different things that you want to put together to make a certain kind of a salad. Yeah, Sally's incredibly user friendly. So any chef out there that's come up with a great recipe and wants to showcase it as like a last minute lunch special or they want to showcase it that evening for dinner special, you name it, it takes about a minute or a minute and a half to go ahead and pre-program in a new salad. So I would imagine that there's got to be applications beyond salad. You probably make things beyond salad. Can you put other types of food in the bins? We've been working and discussing the different possibilities. Definitely on the horizon, we would love to be able to do like poke dispensing out of it and other cold food applications. And then when we do get into hot food applications, we've been discussing those possibilities as well. Okay, before I let you go, what's the best salad that Sally's currently uh, making up? My favorite salad is the California Love. I'm a kale lover, so I got to go for that one. I like to add cheese to it, and then I use hot sauce as the dressing. <laughs> and is the data supported that that's the most popular one, or uh, that's just your personal favorite? That's my personal favorite. The most popular one supported by the data will definitely be our chicken bot salad. Chicken bot salad. What's the bot in a chicken bot salad? It's a fun play on the name, which is Chowbotics. So we got chicken bot, and then we also have a powered chow. Very good. All right. So, Kelly, thanks for uh, taking a few minutes. So, that, again, Jeff Rick, we're here with Sally. Sally can't speak, so we had Kelly talk. We had Deepak talk. Really interesting innovation, whether it's speed, uh, portion control, or just another way to get a healthy snack to the folks and you don't have enough employee to hire your own Google chef, you can get, uh, get Kelly. She comes with Sally. So, thanks for uh, taking a few minutes out of your day. Of course. Thank you. All right. And thank you to uh, Deepak off camera. Cool, uh, cool invention. It's... It's Sally from Chowbotics. I'm Jeff Frick. You're watching theCUBE from Food IT here at the Computer History Museum. Thanks for watching.